So what's your scariest favorite scene or scariest or scariest movie? Exorcist. Guys, the Exorcist. Exorcist. I'm actually about to do a podcast just about The Exorcist. And I have a horror podcast that I'm starting um, in the beginning of... Um, in the beginning of November with uh, Amazon and Mr. Ballin, um, where I'm telling horror stories. And, um, but The Exorcist uh, by far is every, the, the beautiful thing about living in LA, I don't know if they do this in Ohio, but around Halloween, they start to show the those movies in the theaters. Mm. So The Exorcist and Dawn of the Dead and all of my favorite horror films will be in the theater for the month of October. And the Exorcist will probably be there every day. I will see it at least for a week. Mm -hmm. I will watch The Exorcist. And I've seen The Exorcist at least 400 times. And I love The Exorcist. I think it's a perfect movie. I was a production assistant on The Exorcist 3. When I worked at Georgetown University, I would stand at the top of The Exorcist steps and wonder what it was like to fall down those steps like uh, uh, Father Karras did. So, yes, The Exorcist. Okay, so what makes it a perfect horror movie? It had all of the elements. It was progressively, just from a pacing place, it got progressively scarier and more intense as the movie went on. Like there was a point in the movie where the door was closed to Reagan's bedroom. And every time you went in that room, it was worse than the time that you went in there prior to. And she had evolved. But from the beginning of the movie, from when they were in Iraq to the end, the pacing now you couldn't tell that story today because it took 45 minutes before she came in and peed on the carpet. Uh, so she would have to pee in the opening credits now, you know. But the way the way the human part of the story of a mother and a daughter experiencing the breakup of a family because they were going through divorce and the father was in Rome and you didn't know whether the thing with um Reagan, Linda Blair was emotional or whether it was, you know, what it was supernatural. And the way faith was challenged on all levels, you know, uh, mom has to. I know my mother would have left me. If I was possessed, I'd still be in that room right now. She wouldn't have gone through all of that. And the faith that mom showed and the love that mom showed to hang in there with her daughter and to go through it with her. And even though it was challenged, I think spoke to the idea of family, you know, in a way. It's easy when everything is great to stick together, but when things get difficult, um, are we there for each other? And then the faith of the priests. You know, you have one priest who's lacking faith and another priest who is the general of faith, you know, mm -hmm. and they're in there fighting the devil. And um, so to me, like I said, the cinematography, the music, tubular bells, they're still playing that uh, to this day. Um, everything was just every once in a while, something comes along in film and or television or music. And to me, it's like perfect. And it gives you faith and hope that something else can be perfect coming along. And I just think the exorcism is that for me.